low prices. Let's have a look at them. By the way, US WTI is at $58.85 per barrel. It's down um, by 1.69%. The brand is $66.80 per barrel minus 1.33. And very interesting, the gold is going higher and higher in the last days. It's trading at 1,311.58. It's up by 0.18 today. The, actually, the WTI TI yesterday hit a new record, um, which was $60 per barrel. Of course, I mean a new record for uh, 2019. So uh, what are your further expectations uh, regarding oil prices? We know that OPEC skipped its meeting uh, on April. It was supposed to meet on April, but it's going to meet directly June. So what is your personal opinion? Um, regarding the oil price, uh, let's first talk about, because most of the hap things have happened uh, with OPEC over the last period. Um, uh, first, OPEC, they did not skip their meeting in April. There's been so much people uh, and uh, there's so much report in the media saying that the meeting was skipped. But actually, the meeting is an extraordinary meeting, which means it was already planned because at the period when there was uncertainty on how the market will react to OPEC decision in December 2018. So that was uh, the meeting classification was an extraordinary. And th there was an, an expectation that the meeting is to be cancelled uh, early on uh, since March uh, when uh, the Saudi oil minister uh, said, mentioned in many meetings that they, we are maybe this meeting is not necessarily is not necessary because the market market are already reacting to a big decision in 2018. So uh, they, essentially, they moved the uh, the decision into uh, June 2019, which is the ordinary OPEC meeting where they usually take decisions on uh, on the production and supply and demand. Uh, so and. Of course, preceded by a JMMC, the Joint Ministerial Monitoring Committee that has happened uh, just last week in Azerbaijan. Uh, so that's uh, the the uh, they will certainly have a recommendation from that meeting, and they will take action in June. So this April meeting was already expected to be uh, uh, cancelled, uh, not uh, not uh, skipped or delayed. Absolutely, and plus uh, oil prices actually are uh, recovering pretty well, and uh, for most of the countries, uh, the minimum uh, is prices between 60 and $70 per barrel, that actually we are seeing. Do you expect to hit $65 at least till June, and do you expect any changes uh, regarding the OPEC policy? Um, yes, uh, the, uh, the, there has been some bullish um, sentiments over the oil market since uh, we last uh, spoke, uh, I think about, about a month ago. Um, uh, the major factors that have led to an increase in oil production was uh, not only the, uh, the decrease from OPEC uh, production, uh, the supplies from OPEC. As you see, uh, many countries in OPEC now, they have reported recently a compliance of about 90% compliance. And Saudi Arabia, for example, has reduced its production to less than 10, and even its exports has been reduced to less than 7 a million barrel a day. And uh, so that, that's one factor. The other factor is the reports coming out from the U.S. Uh, Energy, Energy Administration uh, information uh, that has reported a s slowing growth in shale production, a uh, decline in the stocks from the crude oil, from gasoline, and uh, other fuels. And they also show that the growth in shale will be, will be slowing, which, was, which is for the first time. And that confirms to some, something we discussed uh, in our last interview when uh, we we like we discussed that how shale will go quickly or slow. So it seems that the reports coming from the IA do suggest that the growth in shale will not be uh, will not grow overnight. It needs time to grow and uh, make the uh, U.S. Uh, well self-sufficient. Um, so that's 
has uh, reflected certainly on the market as we can see now. Uh, WTI is uh, reaching 60. I don't think it will reach 65 uh, this quickly, but I uh, uh, but it, it it will reach, but not so quickly. I think yes, but. Uh, Let's look, look look also into Brent. Uh, Brent could uh, is, uh, is almost reaching uh, 68 uh, just uh, today in the mo today's uh, morning. Um, uh, so I think it will be let's say within the first half of 2019, and uh, now we are in March. But within this half, I think it could reach 70 uh, 65 for the WTI or and 75 for uh, Brent. Uh, within the first half, but not next month. Well, you said there is something very interesting that President Trump doesn't like high oil prices. I cannot even call them high because they're not high. They're pretty actually normal right now, but for him, they are high. Do you expect any reaction from his side, uh, his side any soon? Um, why not? <laughs> um, uh, he... he uh, he is in a support of low oil prices for, uh, for to make fuels affordable for uh, U.S. consumers. But uh, interestingly, a recent report published by uh, his team, his advisory team in the White House, uh, did uh, recommend high oil prices are good for the American economy. So you never know if the U.S. policy will change as well, because just a report published uh, two days ago, as uh, I, I read about it, and uh, they have been uh, showing that the benefits of uh, growth in, uh, in the U in oil prices will uh, help the U.S. economy, because as you know now, the United States is an oil exporter. So it will bring them back some... Uh, revenues to create jobs to prosper the economy so uh, we don't know if uh, his policy will change as uh, as we can see from uh, the advice of from his advisors thank you very much Yusef al shamari editor in chief you Sergi. thank you for joining me have a great weekend always a pleasure you too well let's